Let's talk about those Hawkeyes, a heckle and jive team from a year ago. They scored 55 against Ohio State last season. Remember that? Also 56 against Nebraska and against the Illini for the 45 points. But the other six Big Ten games, Iowa did not even break 20 points. What was the offensive consistency? Well, a lot will have to do with the play of Nathan Stanley. He needs to be more consistent, only completing 55% of his passes. But good news for the Hawkeyes, he did not turn the ball over often. 26 TD passes and only six picks. So there's something beneficial there to build upon. Iowa's drives last season, simply put, ended too soon after third down. Didn't keep the chains moving near enough, putting more pressure on the defense. But a lot of the offensive players last year do come back. And we're also talking about Noah Fant, one of the best tight ends in the country. And at times, Iowa will line up in two tight end sets. So you have five of the seven up front back from last season. And you also have back Nick Easley. Of course, the ground game, you got to watch that because Akron Watley's not there anymore. So they'll be relying heavily upon the uh, sophomore duo that you'll have in Torn Young and also, too, in Ivory Kelly Martin. Not to be confused with Keaton Ivory Williams from a living color fame early 90s. <laughs> little joke there. All right, so let's look at the defense. And defense last year, all joking aside, played very well. Big reason because they got quarterback pressure because they were productive in the front seven. Well, good news and bad news this year. Good news is both defensive ends are back, including Anthony Nelson. Bad news, all three linebackers and that 4-3 alignment have to be replaced, including the All-American Josie Jewell. The linebacking uh, core last year did not have a deep rotation. They relied on these, those three guys heavily. How much? They amassed over 300 tackles last year to the three linebackers. So we'll see how um, Amani Jones does at weak side linebacker. They're going to be dependent upon him. And the secondary will really be relying on Amani Hooker, a very talented um, safety. He becomes a leader of that secondary now that you have Josh Jackson, who departed for the NFL. The schedule for Iowa is the most favorable. That's why I think the Hawkeyes will do well in the West Division. The non-conference games all at home with the toughest one appearing to be Iowa State. Late September, home game against Wisconsin. I'm not expecting Iowa to win. The Badgers, simply put, will have too much on offense for Iowa to handle. But if the Hawkeyes do pull off the upset, I think the Hawkeyes at that point have the driver's seat in the West Division because they have the most favorable schedule of anybody in the Big Ten, West or East. No Ohio State, no Michigan State, no Michigan on the schedule. Got to worry about Penn State and Purdue on the road. But Iowa, again, will have the most favorable schedule. They get Northwestern and Nebraska at home as well. I've got Iowa finishing second in the West. When I got the wood in the form of a bird, it's the you know, sport now. Better than diamond rings.